Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today we will start with our part 6 lecture. So let's begin with it. So our first topic for today's class is advantages and disadvantages of self-pollination. So in the previous lecture we had studied about pollination, types of pollination and types of pollinators. Right. So today we will discuss further part of pollination and it's just three points left in pollination then you will be done with this topic and you will go towards pollen piston interaction so let's begin uh, advantages and disadvantages of self pollination so the advantage of self pollination is that that like first point in self pollination advantages Okay, advantages are that first point the first point in advantages is that they don't require any um, you know pollinator. So, here yeah, pollinating agents are not required. So, you will write the first point pollinating agents are not required. Why not require? Why there is no requirement? Because this is a self pollination. Okay, means in autogamy, I am speaking about autogamy, there is no requirement. But in jitanogamy, there will be a requirement. So, you, you should right here you have you have to specify pollinating agents are not required in autogamy required in autogamy and in jitinogamy it's required so you will write pollinating agents are not required in autogamy and in jitinogamy it's required okay so in jitinogamy you you need it I hope you remember what is the meaning of jitanogamy. If you don't remember, then go and watch part 5 before watching part 6. Okay. So, here in pollinators, pollinating. Okay. I will, I will write here in the same point only. Required in autogamy. And you have to make another set statement that in jitanogamy, it's not required. Okay, I hope you will write this statement. You, you have to write it. Okay. Then second point. I will then also I will mention it because I feel like if you people get confused, I will write it here in Jitano Gami. Okay, I wrote it here. So, next we will speak about the next point. So, here the flowers in case of autogamy, there is no need of flowers to be showy and all. The flowers can be like, you know, normal flowers also because since in one flower there is both like they have male, female part and the male part also. So, both parts are present in the same flower and it's a self-pollination. So, there is no requirement of you know the flowers to be showy and all that there, there is no requirement uh, to give nectar to to give uh, some pollen and all to the pollinators because here there is no topic of pollinators right so this is an advantage this is an advantage okay so like if we speak about the another advantage like you, you will write it here no nectar required no nectar required okay then you can say uh, fragrance not required because here again there will be so fragrance not required because there is no pollinator coming again um, you can say that there is no required of colored flowers colored petals so colored flowers are not required not required okay 
so in short the flower should not be like uh, even if the flower is not showy then also there will be a pollination going on because it's a self pollination and in retinogamy if we speak about it so since the pollinators are coming so the flower should be you know it should be a showy flower okay showy flower it should have nectar it should have fragrance it should have colored petals everything so here the thing is separate fragrance so the thing is separate for both the both the you know both of the autogamy and genogamy so these are the advantages and the third advantage is that in self pollination as a as a, just speaking about just self pollination so here you can create a pure line okay pure line you can create means you have you will have the same uh, type of plant you can have the same type of plant for generations and generations okay so there will be a homozygous zygosity formed okay homo pure line another word is homozygosity formed homozygosity will be seen because the same see in self pollination there is no variation so there will be a pure line okay what will what, what will be there there will be a pure line formed so this is about the ad, uh, de, uh, like advantages now speaking about disadvantages so in disadvantages what will happen in disadvantages the first point is that there will be no variation and variation is very important in sexual reproduction so here this is a very huge point that they don't have any variation means the same uh, genetic makeup will be passed on to the next generation so there will be no variation again and again there will be same 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 organism like same kind of organism forming no variation nothing so this will create a property known as inbreeding depression so inbreeding depression will be there inbreeding depression inbreeding depression means loss of fertility you can say loss of vigor loss of like genetic things and all so this all creates reduced survival and fertility i will write here so there will be reduced survival because again and again same uh, you know same uh, thing is being formed so there will be reduced survival there will be a reduced fertility okay fertility okay so there will be reduced survival the reduced fertility yes and even there will be a uh, less uh, fitness and all to the plant so it will decrease its fitness it will decrease its strength so decrease strength decrease fitness why why this is happening because of no variation because of pure line being formed so the other there is no variation like there will be no variation and all so because of that there will be pure line and because of continuous self pollination there will be inbreeding depression when will be the inbreeding repression because of continuous self pollination bar 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 self pollination ho raha hai bar bar ho raha hai to kya ho jayega there will be inbreeding depression okay so coming towards the next point this this was the first point which we spoke about advantages and disadvantages now uh, next point is that what are the contravenances for self pollination now what is the meaning of contravenances contravenances means devices okay these are the devices like we want such devices which will give only self pollination such devices we want okay 
सो कॉन्ट्रावेनसिस मीन्स डिवाइसिस कॉन्ट्रास्ट एनालिसिस मीनिंग मीन्स डिवाइसिस आई विल राइट इट योर इन दिस मीनिंग इन शॉर्ट नाउ फॉर सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिवाइस इज दिस दैट देर देर शुड बी बाइसेक्शुअल फ्लावर्स लाइक नाउ वॉट आर दीज डिवाइसिस लाइक इफ आई वॉन्ट टू से सो द कॉन्ट्रावेनसिस फॉर सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन मीन्स दीज डिवाइसिस विल एनश्योर यू नो वॉट दे विल एनश्योर bisexual or you can say that they will ensure self pollination okay so to ensure self pollination so it will ensure self pollination now what will ensure the self pollination self pollination will be ensured by bisexual flowers okay it will be ensured by bisexual flowers if the flower is bisexual means it is having both female and male parts reproductive parts then they will undergo self pollination next point is that if a flower is have is a like is a kind of homogamy means they undergoing homogamy now what is homogamy let's pay attention to this word we will have another like we will have more terms coming up homogamy word means that female and male both are getting matured you know they are both are getting matured togetherly okay both male and female they get matured at the same time so maturation of male and female occurs occurs at same time okay it occurs at the same time so we say it as homo homo means same what is the meaning of word homo homo means same okay and gamy means at the same time both are getting mature homo means same at the same time both are getting matured so if both male and female are getting matured at the same time then what will happen the self pollination the self pollination will be like occurring okay if both are both are there in the same flower the male and female both are getting matured then what will happen there will be a homogamy and if this is a homogamy condition then the male and female can reproduce means they can undergo self pollination in the same flower right in the same flower they can undergo self pollination this will give pollen to the female part so this is male this is female we know this yes and this will give pollen to the stigma and then hence this will be like going on right so the self pollination will occur so there are two conditions for self pollination to occur if i want to speak about the third condition in which that in which self pollination occurs this third condition is known as cleistogamous flowers what it, it is known as cleistogamous flowers so what is cleistogamous flowers cleistogamous flowers are the flowers which are closed flowers which are closed flowers means they are male and the female parts are not exposed okay so if the if a flower is a closed flower see 
if some flower is a closed flower means they are male and the female are not exposed okay the male and female are not exposed so what will happen this male will give its pollen to the female so there will be a self pollination occurring because of closed flowers there is a possibility there self pollination will occur self pollination here the male and the female are not exposed to the external environment if the flowers are not exposed to the external means the flowers reproductive part okay male part female part if it is not exposed to the external environment this means what the flower is a closed flower and if the flower is a closed flower the male and female will undergo self pollination so these are the contravenous devices contravenous means devices for what these devices are the devices to ensure self pollination self pollination another word is inbreeding we can say inbreeding we can also say selfing okay so let's go towards the next topic advantages and disadvantages of cross pollination so the advantages of cross pollination is let's come to the advantages and then we will come to this the first advantage of cross pollination now cross pollination gives variation this is a very most important part very important that it is giving us variation and variation is very much important in sexual reproduction sexual reproduction it's very important this term is very important and sex if there is variation then there will be increase in genetic diversity what will happen there will be increase in genetic diversity so you will get a more 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 diversity because of variation and this is a this will give a better health a uh, better fitness better strength good and higher uh, gene uh, you know good good kind of genes will be there in the plant and this is what is required we need this okay we need variation okay so this is a very important advantage now second advantage is is that that you know you will get a hybrid vigor means you will get a superior progeny okay means the progeny will be very good progeny it will be healthy you will get good genes that what i told if there will be a variation if there will be increase in genetic diversity then the product outcome will be good you will not get a same pure line the way you you were getting in the self pollination so here you will get superior progeny and that's what we need you will get a good good quality product okay you will get hybrid vigor vigor okay you will get hybrid vigor okay so this is these are the two main advantages of you know cross pollination now what are the disadvantages of cross pollination so this advantage is the first disadvantage i will write here see if pollinating pollinators are not there okay if pollinating agents are absent then what will happen there will be no pollination so they are dependent on pollinating agents pollinators i will write in short dependent on pollinators they are totally dependent on, on the pollinators if pollinator pollinating agent won't come then there will be no pollination so they are dependent on pollinators 
okay this is the very first point second point is that there is a requirement of more energy why because they have to produce large number of pollen grains so there is high energy requirement why is there why there is a high energy requirement because there is a high energy requirement because large number of pollens are produced okay large number of pollen grains are produced okay a large number of pollen grains are produced so this is a disadvantage now coming to the next topic is this uh, this is the last part of pollination so what are the contra like you know contra venances means such devices which will ensure like outbreeding devices uh, meaning of outbreeding is cross pollination okay cross pollination means outbreeding and devices we want such technique which will ensure which will ensure what it will ensure cross pollination cross pollination so we want such devices which will ensure cross pollination okay it will ensure cross pollination so we want such devices so let's come and understand the first device is unisexuality unisexuality means the flowers are unisexual means you have one flower as male flower and another flower as female flower okay suppose this is a male flower which is just having anthers and the another flower is a female flower which is just having a gynoecium okay so this this is what like this is this is a meaning of unisexuality okay means there will be male male flowers and female flowers separately present they will be separately present on different plants okay it will means plant one will be having completely male flowers plant two will having completely female flowers this will be the condition okay and this condition where the plants are having only one type of uh, reproductive part we say it as dioecium dioecium means what one plant means one plant is completely uh, you know completely male reproductive like you can say male plant means this may this plant will only have male flowers and the second plant will only have female flowers okay so this will ensure what this will ensures cross pollination so there will be a need of pollinator okay now second point second point is dicogamy what is the second point second point is dicogamy dicogamy means this means that both the male and the female they mature at different time dicogamy see the word dico means two different di means two dicogamy means two different times okay so there are two like there are different means male and female parts mature at different times okay uh, like in which flower now see uh, it's not about the unisexual flowers this is about bisexual flowers see if there is a bisexual flower means it is having both female and male parts okay it's having both female and male parts then what will happen here the female and male both are getting mature at different time so in bisexual flowers both male and female 
मैच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज डाइकोगैम सो बायसेक्शुअल फ्लावर्स बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल मैच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स ओके सो इफ दे विल मैच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम सो देर विल बी अ नीड ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन सो बिकॉज ऑफ दे गेटिंग मैच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स सो देर इज अ नीड ऑफ वॉट देर इज अ नीड ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन means again there will be need of pollinator okay i hope you are understanding the concept you are understanding the meaning about what we are studying okay so next contravenous devices is the third part okay uh, in this only if suppose the female is first getting matured so if first female is getting matured we say it as pro protogyny okay protogyny if suppose first male is getting uh, matured first okay the, who who will get matured first that will be given as pro pro means first gyny means female means first female got matured and if suppose i say protoandry okay pro andry means what pro, pro means first earlier than the female and andry means androsium means the male part so the flowers which get uh, male flowers which get first matured are known as protoandry okay and the female flowers which get first matured are known as protogyny okay so gyny protogyny means first female got matured than the male protoandry means first male got matured than the female okay next the third point in this is prepotency okay now uh, prepotency we will learn about prepotency the word prepotency means pollen grains of other flowers germinate rapidly over the stigma than the pollen grains from the same flower means what if this is a flower it is having both uh, female and the male part and here also there is a flower which is having both female and male part but what is happening here in the plant number 1 the male is not getting matured first means pollen grains are not getting germinate first okay but in the other flower in this flower pollen grains germinate rapidly but here it is not getting germinate rapidly so this is the thing which is like known as prepotency here in the plant one means this female is not getting pollen means uh, here the germination is very late means pollen grains are not giving uh, means uh, anther is not giving pollen uh, rapidly it's not getting germinating uh, germinated earlier as compared to the other flower in this flower the pollen gets germinate rapidly so here also what can happen the pollinator can come here it can take this pollen to this female so here again pollinator can okay so these are the points about pre potency now we have more three points but i will take this in the next lecture so till then you keep studying i hope today's lecture you found it useful and this is was the part 6 we will come soon with another lecture of part 7 and we will study the further three points and then we will continue with pollen pistil interaction so thank you for watching this class if you have any doubts you can comment below in the comment uh, section do like the video do comment about how you are like means you are understanding the lecture or not you do you want some improvement in the class or anything of that sort do mess do write on the comment section 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द क्लास